how to create a dotted design like this in some type in Photoshop. Now, obviously, I've got letter T there, but it doesn't have to be just T. It could be any other letters, combinations, etc. And it can be any kind of dot pattern as well. How to do it? Well, in this, I'm using Photoshop 221. And it's got a new great pattern preview feature where you can create all kinds of amazing dot patterns as well as other patterns. But you can, of course, still create dot pattern designs in Photoshop 220, 219, etc. So how to do this? Well, I'm just going to go back to a fresh document. And now I've got a dot design here. And I'm going to go back to a fresh document here as well. So I've just got a basic design here. And I want a dot. So simple Let's just go to the ellipse tool and I'm using pixel mode and you can create all kinds of colored ones like you just saw there, the color design at the start. But I'm not going to go with the color one, I'm just going to go with a very basic black. So window, you've got all the various things here. So if you want layers, you can build combinations up. Also history panel is always good, so you can always go back. Go to view and pattern preview. Pattern preview. Now this is the new feature in Photoshop 221. And what it does, it creates this preview space. All this bit outside here, that's all the preview. This is the actual pattern. So I'm just going to create it using pixels, black, and it's going to be, so hold down the shift, and just create a dot. And now I'm going to create something slightly bit more. There, I'm just going to have a dot there. You can see that dot is repeated. Now, none of this exists. It's just a preview. Now, I'm going to make it slightly bit different. I'm just going to add a bit of blue there as well. So you've got a dot there and that. See, that's a very quick design. You can create dot design. You can create thousands of different dot designs. But once you've done that, sadly, there's no define preset feature along the bar at the top. I would love to see that. However, you've got to go to edit menu and define band or just set up a a quick uh, shortcut to it. So define pattern and click OK. So once you've done that, we need to go, go to a fresh document and you can go here. So you've got T there. You'll see horizontal type tool. And set it to something more than that. I'm going to set it to 72. Now I'm just going to type in something. I'm just going to go for LO. Long note. Remove that. So you've got your design there. And of course you can resize it. And see it a bit better. Once you've done that, go to a layer and layer style and pattern overlay. And that just adds dots. Now that one was an early one that I created. But there's another one that I created earlier. And there's the one I just created just now. And you can see you've got a lovely blue sort of leopard skin. <laughs> that sort of design, dotty design. And of course you can vary the angle. So you can rotate it around, you can change the scale, make it very small. See it, make it down to like two or something. Just as easy just to type it in and change the scale because the scale jumps very rapidly. Or we'll go for 20. And of course you can just go there, go up, and you can see design change there. And you can change the angle. Might work best if it's uh, say 10. So you can see the dots there. Also, you can move it around. So you can move them. If you don't like the position, you can say, oh, I want the dots there. Just like that. And also you can also add a drop shadow if you want some shadow there. Now it's also, the good thing about this is you can always go back, layers panel, window and layers. You can always just quickly go to pattern overlay, click on that again and select maybe one of your other pattern designs, one of those dots there. So you can change your mind very quick and easy and change the scale, maybe five, like that. So you've got, and again, you can move that around. However, what if you want a design that's maybe more random than that? Well, another way of doing that is just use a selection. So I'm just gonna go back to a thing there and fill it with random dots. Now, I've got here the horizontal type mask tool. Now this may be in a completely different position in yours because I've customized my toolbar and you can do that. Just go over here and you can edit the toolbar. Well, obviously I've changed it. I've put that there. So I'm just going to select that. Now, the 
best thing to do, I think, is always to set it beforehand. So say it's like 300. And just put it down the bottom. And I'm just going to go for one letter. I'm not going to go too many because I've got off the screen. And then press return. Now you've got this, obviously, thing. What you can do, you can just go over here. Now you could go to edit and you could go with fill. You go there. And then you could fill the design as well. If you set it up, you could go for pattern and use your pattern there. Now, the end result in this case will not be so great, but you could set it up with transparency, set the background, and then you've got a pattern design that's got that you can use for this. When you use it with simply just select all that sort of one without transparency, the result is never brilliant, I don't think, personally. But that's one way you could do it. But if you want random, again, another quick way, very quick way, simply just go to the tool there, the pixel, and I'm using black this time, simply just add them. Simple and easy like that, quickly. And you can just add, obviously, all kinds of dots and designs that don't all be an equal. Now, it's a pity there's not a quick feature that you can do that. Sort of a fill tool that can quickly create this, but you know, just as easy, very quickly. Or you could, of course, just create a brush. Just go and create a brush stroke and then click and fill it with dots. Simple as that. And uh, of course, then you can, of course, fill it with maybe ones that are a bit more uh, blurry or feathered and uh, all different designs of dots. And again, if you want to, of course, you don't have to go with that. You can go with blue. So you can create all kinds of very unique dotted letters for your designs. And of course, what you can also do, of course, is you can, it's in a selection. You can edit and copy, control V, and you've got your design there, of course, and you can then go to layer, layer style, and maybe add a drop shadow there, or a bevel and emboss, and you can see your design there. So all kinds of different designs can be just simply created using this approach, and that's what sometimes I do, simple, just as easy than creating a pattern design, but the pattern at least creates a nice uniform dot design. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Please subscribe to the Graphic Extra channel. Always had new tutorials about Photoshop, obviously 2021, Illustrator, Finty Photo, Finty Designer, Critter, Painter, and many, many others. Any questions, please let me know. Also, a dislike or like, always nice to know. Thank you much.